Hey there team, welcome back. Glad to have you if you're joining. Uh, today's a rock hunting adventure, so if you like rock hunting, enjoy. Um, but yeah, I'm on the Arkansas River in Kansas, or as the locals call it, Arkansas River. Somehow it changes names in the state and then goes back to its former name in the next state. But yeah, gonna be looking for agates mostly and other cool things and just enjoying the river i see this trail it makes me think there's a fishing here because it's like a big trail i see if it blasts out Most of the gravels that I look in around here are about like this. So there's little patches here and there on the top of a hill or uh, under bushes or whatever in big washouts. And the rain really kind of filters it out for you because there's so much sand in this area. So you gotta let nature do its thing, lead the way wash out some nice gravels like these and otherwise that's how you beat the sand hills Whoop. or or they beat you Whoop. another thing to look out for if you're in my area is a lot of the agates are really blue and shiny or white and shiny sometimes they're really dark but the dark ones often have this kind of bleaching material so this is a honey agate believe it or not and you wouldn't really know it by looking at the top but once you get it polished or whatever it looks really nice uh, generally you can see through it a bit but there's no light today it's pretty cloudy but I can definitely tell there's little parts of it I can see through so I'm walking along in the river trying to look and I have to look I have to go backwards and look behind me because see the smoothness of the water behind me Compared to this, it's almost impossible to see in front of me. But the agates in this spot are so small. Seeing them in the water is actually quite difficult to start with. So I don't do too much looking in the river. I usually look along the banks. But the water hasn't been this clear in quite a while. So I'm enjoying being in the water. Walking down river is always more fun than up because the water helps you move your legs versus going up. There's no help. It's the opposite of help. Big fishes. See the carp in there. Blue heron. He doesn't want to leave. Let's see if I can slide by him without making him fly away. Bye. 
love nature. It's so much fun. Little tiny agate, but it's got some sweet features. See all the swirls in there? I don't think I would do much rock hounding if nature wasn't involved. Nature makes some funny looking fruit. Bloop. I walked quite far down river and it's just sandbar after sandbar after sandbar. So I'm heading back up where I know there's a really large gravel bar. And I think I made it more than halfway to actually the next road. So someday I may go down to the next road, park there. Sorry, I can't walk much quieter than I am. Yeah, Anyhow, no point in going all the way down and finding a bunch of sand. So, I'm gonna go where I know. You can't park there, sir. Ah, sweet gravels. And the sun came out. It's been a while since I've seen some good gravel today, but uh, here's the one agate I've found since showing you the last one. Whoops. Something else you can find along the river here is smoky quartz. This is quite a worn piece, so I'm not gonna keep it, but I thought I saw something down here. Nope, just the right color combo of different rock. Now we're talking. Check out this honey agate. This thing's huge. It's a little bit dense. It might be just straight chalcedony. Cut it, and we'll find out. All right, here's a few more. Little white guy, even smaller white guy, and a little bit bigger guy. Uh, that one's nice and solid. Might tumble out nicely. All right, let me show you what I've got in the last 10 minutes or so. Got this nice big chunk. I was actually up in the bushes over there looking. That's where I found most of these. Nice swirly chunk. They're all about the same color, which is kind of funny. Like a light gray. Some nice depth to them. And then those guys. That was cool. So I'm chilling right next to where I was sitting. Nice chunky one. And a piece of this quartz. I've been collecting a few more of these that are the nice red ones with uh, just cool inclusions because they look really cool once you polish them up. And then uh, right behind it, I dug this out. It's a full bottle. I don't really know much about stuff like this. I'm sure with the numbers and stuff on the bottom, if it's for medicine or what. But I might keep that because it's a hole. There's no fractures or anything. It's full of sand. Someone knows, let me know. There's numbers on the bottom. See if you can read them. Right next to it. There was actually an agate in the hole I didn't show you, which is kind of funny. But right next to it, here's another one. Just a little guy. Nice swirls. Just two a couple feet away from each other. This one's got like leopard spots on it almost. Pretty cool. And then right here is a bigger one. Almost the same design. Way bigger. 
Those are nice. Okay, this one was right here in that hole. There's a third one. Right here. A couple inches away. Oh, and a fourth one. I should keep filming, see if I can find any more. Just sitting here. This is quite often I'll be walking along and you know, you find a few. Then I'll sit down and I'll find a lot just sitting in one spot. Um, it just means you gotta go slow. Is that one? Maybe, but kind of ugly. Sometimes. Or you can go fast. It's up to you. I almost didn't pick this one up, but it's got some sweet bands on top. Here's a 10 minute update. Eh. These ones are right. Maybe Jasper kind of thing. This one was glossy, and then right on the top, you can see those bands going across there. Pretty cool. Then this guy. My favorite one from the last 10 minutes is this one. And then right here, it's a big piece of Jasper, I think. So, kind of a good example of it. I'm not going to keep that one, though. Kind of ugly. Still got a lot of gravel bar to go. I was up there already, and I was like, ah, there's some gravels over here. I turned around, came back. Look at that. That one's nice. Ooh, nice reds, nice colors. Also found this guy. Two nice chunky ones. Some of these you can spot from a mile away. Especially with all those reds in there. Oh, look at that. That is sweet. I love those designs. If you've made it to this point in the video, congratulations. And actually, I really appreciate you guys watching and commenting and liking and stuff. But I want to ask for some help from you. So, if you watch other uh, YouTube channels around rock hounding, adventure, whatever, would you do me a favor? Leave a comment below. Tell me what it is you watch and what it is about their channels that you really like. Um, they say imitation is the highest form of flattery, so I want to have my own YouTube channel, you know, I want it to be Joseph's, not somebody else's, but at the same time I want to just be able to look around and see other people have really good ideas and um, just ways to enhance the quality of the channel. Obviously I have actually a really new channel, so I've got a lot to learn, always happy to learn, but leave a comment down below who you watch what it is you really like about them and I'll check them out and see kind of there's certain kind of things and stuff I can pick up from them so thanks in the meantime check out these rocks we got a nice little ghost sliver with some bands in there a little bit fractured and then two little two little fragments of agates here's an example so one channel I really like is um, agate dad and uh, one thing I really like about his channel is he has so much joy and he kind of, he's so good at expressing it. Like when he's looking at rocks, he's laughing and he's, you know, you can tell he loves it. Um, I don't laugh so much, obviously. All my joy is internal. So much, sometimes it comes out um, and stuff. And, you know, when you find little tiny rocks like this, it's exciting, but it's not like, I don't know, I don't bubble over. But I really like his joy. Some people seem to be bothered by it for some reason or another. I don't know why you would be bothered by joy unless you're some pain deep down in your soul. But yeah, that's just one example of uh, kind of, that's his personality, right? But he has a really good channel, I think. He has a lot of good ideas. Another one of these velvet ants that are yellow here. This guy's cruising. He's on a journey across the vast desert. I've also found tons of little shards like these are all within like 10 feet of each other they're all over the place sun is heating up it's not too bad actually it's probably 85 still so it's not too bad 
that's Fahrenheit, not Celsius. But uh, check out this ghost agate. Uh, it is nice. Some bands in there. Super cool. I love finding these. I stopped to upload a YouTube short. I was sitting here and uh, would have walked right by this guy. Sticking right out the top. The blue one is right here. I haven't moved. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Look at honey. That's a dark one. That'll make something nice. Can you spot the agate? Pretty obvious. It's like the biggest rock in the screen. Nice blue, red, gray, white, yellow, brownish, tannish. And then there's this guy too. I'm just gonna sit in this one spot, see if I can't find something else. probably gonna see some that I'm not gonna see you're gonna be like no you missed it this one. Nope. can't find any all right I could probably spend another four or five hours on this gravel bar alone looking for agates but I'm gonna show you with the lot final haul here um, you may have seen this one on one of my YouTube shorts already check that out sweet agate ghost agate this nice little shard this nice red and white one gray one white one some smoky quartz some petrified wood and many more so i'll probably find a few more on the way back i may or may not show you sorry but i will have pictures at the end of some of my favorite agates from today check those out. Otherwise, thanks for watching. Hit that like button if you enjoyed. Bye.